Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I wanted to do a, a quick update on my uh, build for the uh, Studio Scale TIE Fighter. So as you can see here, I got some parts soaking in the uh, in some alcohol because I screwed up. So, you know, since I'm new to modeling, I didn't know that, you know, they use a releasing agent when they pull these uh, parts out of a mold. And so whenever I went to paint some of these parts, they turned out with some bubble looking stuff in them. So they didn't turn out all that great. So I'm having to restrip them. But uh, right there, I've got, you know, mostly th those are spars in there. And uh, if you look down here in the sink, I've got the hubs for the sides of the, uh, for the, for the panels. Uh, so those are ready to be washed thoroughly and then I can start painting those. All these parts over here are salvageable. They all look really nice. Uh, so I'll be using those as just a few parts really. Uh, right over here, I have the, uh, the canopy top and bottom and the, uh, I don't know if you call this a windscreen or not, but all this stuff turned out really good. These are parts that I also had to strip and I already got those redone. Uh, so if you go in here, I've got the, uh, the fuselage sitting up here. Those also had to be completely stripped down and uh, uh, repainted, but they, they turned out really, really nice. I'm just waiting for them to completely dry. Uh, and here's the front right here, the front of the canopy. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, originally, whenever I, uh, I sprayed a real light uh, coat of, uh, I think it's this navy blue. It's not a navy blue. I forgot what they call it. It's like U.S. Navy uh, blue. It's a Tamiya paint. I'll uh, update it in a later video and let you know exactly what it was that I used. This is what the fuselages looked like, and it was a little too blue for me. This right here, I just need to spray a light mist over. Uh, the canopy over here, or I'm sorry, the cockpit, rather. You can see that uh, those are also parts that I had to completely strip down, but they're looking pretty good, too. Uh, actually, they're looking really nice. Uh, and then, let me walk in here into the living room. We have got some finished uh, panels. Let me see where they are, right here. Uh, let me bring them in here and let you take a look at these. These panels are all completely glued together. And these are ready for uh, ready for the spars to go on. They turned out looking really, really nice. Uh, there's one of them and there's the other here. So, yeah. These are, so far the build is, everything's going together really good. It's just that, you know, I'm not the greatest at spray painting. I've gotten a lot better, uh, trial and error, on this build here. Uh, it's not so much my painting skills. It's more uh, <laughs> not knowing that I needed to wash the models before I started painting them. So anybody out there, if you're new to modeling, make sure that when you take your uh, sprues and all the parts out of the box before you start doing anything, Wash them with warm water and some Dawn dishwashing liquid thoroughly to get that releasing agent off of them. But uh, anyway, I wanted to do just a quick video. Right now, what I've got, I've got the little TIE Fighter dude put together. And he's kind of painted. Uh, uh, he's pretty much done. I have the... I have the little respirator thing right here that's going to go on the front of him. I just put some... Uh, gloss coat uh top coat over that to you know shine it up some uh that will uh, go on and the other part so the floor and the seat and the console right here it's kind of done it's not quite there yet so what i'm going to do on this i saw a lot of guys do this floor different ways because i want to illuminate the bottom of it with red uh, what I decided to do is I went ahead and took some uh, 600 sandpaper and roughed up the top of this plastic here because paint's not going to stick to this real slippery, clean, shiny plastic. And I'm going to carefully uh, line this with black. 
uh, the little grid lines here. Uh, they're raised. So I'm going to line those in black and do the outside black. That way, if you can see down in the you know, in, down in there, that you know it's it's clear. I'm going to leave that clear. That way, whenever I put some LEDs up underneath the flooring, uh, it can shine through those grids and make the inside of the cockpit look really cool. Uh, I'll be doing that probably tomorrow or so. Uh, I'm running out of black paint because I had to repaint everything. Uh, so I'll be going to the store tomorrow to get some more of that. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, I do have a lot of really good parts that's ready to go. Some I need to, uh, like, like I said, these hubs right here, I need to spray a, just a slight bit of gray on those to gray them up a little bit to match the fuselage there. But other than that, I just wanted to give a quick update and we will see you here in a little bit to where you can see where I'm at now. Thank you. All right, guys, here she is. It's all finished. It's the AMT Round 2 TIE Fighter model that came out last year, uh, 2023. This is the 132nd scale model. It's a brand new mold. Uh, fantastic build. I mean, you know, especially for someone that hasn't built a model in 40 years. Uh, this thing went together really easy. Uh, the only snags that I ran into were just some beginner mistakes, things. Uh, such as painting parts that come together, uh, that you glue together, you're not supposed to do that. That was a screw up of mine. <laughs> and uh, the other thing was that uh, <clears throat> whenever I was building this, uh, you know, I did some research, I should have done it before I did it, which was a big no-no on my part, was whenever you're building a model, wash the parts first, because a lot of times there's a releasing agent that they use uh, to spray on the parts to release the parts out of the molds at the factory and if you don't wash that off it leaves a film on and whenever you spray it you can get some defects in the paint which is what I did and there are several parts on this on this build that I had to completely strip down uh, soaked them in alcohol for a little while and then uh, scrubbed them with some uh, with a toothbrush and then after I did that I mean the the paint adhered very well and turned out really really nice uh, you know, the only things else that I came into is some of my spars, I don't know if they come like this, but some of the spars on the wings right here, they were a little bowed just slightly, you know, to where they didn't really want to, uh, uh, lay down flat on the, on the solar panels. So I had to clamp those down, uh, really well whenever I, uh, glued them. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it went together beautifully. Uh, I was real proud of myself uh, as far as whenever I was putting the, uh, the, the, uh, water slides on, which are the, the decals all the way around. I pretty much used all of the decals that were on the sheet. There were some that I didn't. Uh, let me take this hatch off so you can see the little pilot inside. There we go. Uh, did some dry brushing on the parts on the inside. Let me see if we can get a shot down in there. Not really well. I do have some a red light down there glowing to where you can see the little dude in there. Uh, I don't know if you can really see him real well whenever I put the cap on here or the the uh, cockpit hatch. But uh, anyway, yeah, you can see it a little bit. Uh, got some green LEDs in there for the guns. Uh, turn this around this way. And uh, this is powered with a 9-volt battery. Uh, I also got the engines lit up with some uh, red 3-millimeter LEDs, which turned out really, really nice. Uh, let me get some closer detail shots of this. Uh, you can see little tiny decals all the way around. Uh, very nice. This is a very impressive model. Uh, lo loads of fun to build. Uh, but let me get this turned around here. <clears throat> but yeah. If uh, you're thinking about building this model, I highly uh, suggest it. 
it looks absolutely beautiful whenever you're finished with it. So what I did on the paint is I sprayed it with some flat black primer. Uh, and then after that, I sprayed it with some flat gray primer, uh, lightly. And then I mist it over that with some, uh, some of this grayish blue, uh, Tamiya spray paint to give it kind of a slightly blue tint. I didn't go overboard on it. There were some parts that I did and I just had to spray a slight mist of gray back over that. But everything, uh, turned out really, really, really nice on this. Uh... On the base, I uh, it was like a, a shiny plastic and it looked really cheap. I just sprayed over that with some matte clear and uh, added the switches right there uh, for the uh, for the lights. And uh, after I got done painting everything, I sprayed the whole thing over with a light coat of uh, some of the matte clear to protect the paint and all of the. Uh, all of the little decals that are on here. But uh, yeah, it was a lot, a lot of fun. And I'm sorry that I didn't do a whole lot of videos on the build itself on this. I got carried away and I was having so much fun doing it. And I was really forgetting to go in and make little uh, videos here and there on my progress. But I will add some pictures towards the end of this video of some of the uh, uh, pictures that I did, uh, some of the before and after stuff, but, uh, that's pretty much all I've got for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and see me next time. I'm, uh, right in the middle of building the Millennium Falcon, the MPC Millennium Falcon, and that's coming together really nice. And, uh, I'm still building Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Uh, and I'll have some videos on those as well. I did do a lot better job of doing some video tutorials, or not tutorials so much, but some progress videos that I'm going to stitch together to make a complete video on each one of those. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying these builds. Uh, loads of fun. Like I said, if you're a beginner, this is an awesome uh, uh, kit to build. I uh, didn't have any flashing that I can recollect on any of the parts. Uh, it was just a lot of, you know, just cut and glue together and, you know, some a little bit of uh, trimming here and there whenever you cut the parts off the sprues or the trees. But uh, anyway, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.